Inside Kim Jong-un's $1 billion train with beautiful lady conductors and loaded weapons. For his first known trip outside North Korea, Kim Jong-un opted for his luxurious and heavily armored train. However this bulletproof train features entertainment by beautiful lady conductors who perform for him. It's designed to protect him against his own people. But how does this old-fashioned train really keep Kim safe? Kim's private train service was inherited from his father, former dictator Kim Jong-il, and created out of a fear of flying. It reportedly has 21 cars with bulletproof windows, reinforced walls, and floors to protect against atomics. The train is thought to be equipped with meeting rooms covered in dark wood, as well as various bedrooms, satellite phones, flat-screen TVs, and approximately 100 security personnel who examine routes and approaching stops for atomic and other threats. Chefs in the dining car are available to prepare Russian, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, or French food. Live lobsters and other delicacies are flown in fresh, according to a 2002 testimony by Russian official Konstantin Pilikovsky, who accompanied Kim Jong-il. Barbecue is available, as are Bordeaux and Beaujolais. According to Bruce Bennett, a regional expert, the train was most likely built in Russia and customized in North Korea. They will have personal weapons such as automatic rifles, handheld anti-tank weapons, handheld air defense weapons, shoulder-fired rockets, and so on. Some of the train car's roofs will most likely be removed to allow for the employment of mounted weapons. The train also accommodates his status, with a red carpet ramp for the supreme leader to exit the train. The images issued by North Korean st state media, KCNA, illustrate what is within. One carriage is furnished with pink leather seats and appears to accommodate at least 20 passengers. Another video shows Kim working in a conference room with a laptop and computer monitor behind him. Kim has been seen with potential body jubbles on occasions, such as during a rocket launch in 2020. Numerous prominent figures within the country are angered by Kim's actions towards family members and associates whom he has allegedly killed without clear justification. Consequently, there exists a considerable amount of resentment against him, waiting to be unleashed if given the opportunity. There are whispers of various assassination attempts, including an incident where a distant relative purportedly attempted to shoot him at a gathering, as well as reports of an assault within a North Korean government facility. However, there's another motive behind Kim's preference for traveling by train. He aims to project an image of being a powerful yet pragmatic leader, avoiding ostentation. Unlike a US president who might use a private 747 jet for travel, Kim opts for a train. Despite this image, Kim actually leads a lavish lifestyle, purportedly owning numerous mansions and using the train to reach them. In 2020, satellite imagery captured his train parked near his private retreat in Wonsan. This opulent hideaway boasts multiple guest villas, a private beach, a basketball court, a shooting range, a $7 million luxury yacht, and even its own private railway station. Trains were also believed to be his father's preferred mode of transportation, as Kim Yo-hil was rumored to have a fear of flying. A 2009 South Korean news report states that 20 train stations were built across North Korea just for his personal use. If you go to a standard North Korean rail station, they're pretty dilapidated. These luxury stations are in really good shape, maintained for him, and covered so that if it rains, he doesn't get wet. Three trains were part of Kim Yo Hill's entourage. The first led the way, the second transported the leader, and the third carried guards and supplies. Officials would shut down power to other tracks to guarantee a clear path, and his security detail would search stations for threats and test the safety of the path. Inside, he had a flat-screen TV and a computer. According to a former Kremlin officer who traveled with Kim, the service was also lavish. The kitchen carried live lobster and other gourmet delicacies. Cases of Bordeaux and Burgundy wines were flown in from France. The train featured live singing and dancing by so-called lady conductors. In 2011, Kim Yo-hil passed away, reportedly due to a cardiac arrest while aboard one of his trains. Currently, his preserved body lies on display along with the carriage at his morcelium in Pyongyang, known as the Kamsusan Palace of the Sun. Recently, Kim used the train to journey to Russia for a meeting with Vladimir Putin. Covering nearly 300 miles from North Korea to Vladivostok, the trip lasted 20 hours. At the border, the train underwent a wheel change to accommodate Russian railway tracks. 
as depicted in a telegram video from a Russian news agency, where it was pulled by a Russian locomotive. This marked Kim's first international trip since before the pandemic. Back in 2019, he employed the train for various high-profile visits to China, Russia, and Vietnam, including meetings with former U.S. President Donald Trump. Nevertheless, Kim remains cautious about his travel destinations. Democrats warned that any loss of control on his part could trigger a power struggle within North Korea. His sister is often cited as a potential successor, surrounded by mythology portraying their family line as almost divine. However, there exists a faction of senior elites in North Korea who harbor strong hostility towards the Kim family. Should Kim disappear, it's conceivable that the security services and military might eliminate the remaining members of his family, paving the way for someone from the elite circle to assume a leadership.